the hype is real. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a promo video for Season 12 of American Ninja Warrior. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Darren Paris, and welcome back to the Ninja Life, where we help you overcome obstacles. And today, we're going to jump right into the video because I am too excited for this. So apparently, this promo dropped immediately following the finale of the Titan Games. Alrighty, let's jump into the video. So we got some AMW submission videos from the beginning. You see Eskimo Ninja right there. Train at home, preparing for the ultimate test. It's game time, I kind of want to talk about the dudes doing laches on the heavy equipment. <laughs> I like that. It's no wonder they use this clip in a promo video. That's just unique and awesome. So props out to you guys for your imagination and creativity. That's awesome. I love it. Keep it up. When the course opens. American Ninja Warrior is going big. What? Oh, 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 the phone. What was that? So it looks like they're going down or going straight across a set of monkey bars. They have to race what looks like a track and a ring is falling down. That is a pretty sick obstacle. I like that. That is not like super technical, but a lot of speed. So you have to get good technique to get across, but fast enough to grab the ring before it falls. <gasps> that that looks like um like Big Mike. Either he's just got it or he just missed it. Um, I, I think just by this freeze frame that he is gonna make it and grab it, but um <laughs> that's really cool. That's, <laughs> I can't get over that obstacle. That's awesome. That's let's keep playing. Going big. This Sandy looks like those balance steps that she's on. They kind of move back and forth. Uh, I can't tell from the short clip if it's on a random set where each of them are kind of going on their own or if it's in sync and the next set is kind of going opposite. I'm not 100% sure. It's too short of a clip to see a pattern. The obstacles are tough enough as it is and now you got this moving obstacle that each step can be different. I wonder how many competitors this will actually take out. Not trying to be negative, but let's face it, balance is probably one of the most unpredictable and high ratio of ninja killers out there. I mean, it took out some of the greats like uh, Jeff Brighton and you know, Isaac Caldero, so it is what it is. It's unpredictable. We'll get back to the Adam Rell thing. I saw him flying through the air. This season I want to record history is totally This is gonna be so good. Okay, so I know I saw we saw Sandy earlier on these moving balance things and now I see what looks like Big Mike on the same thing but from a side angle. The steps don't look like they're too far but obviously the way they're moving definitely plays a huge role as to who can pass this. Worth the wait. <laughs> American Ninja Warrior coming soon to NBC. Okay, wow. All right, let's talk about that ending with Jesse Graff just in her splits at the end going for a superhero pose Honestly, that was awesome. That was so awesome. That was super sick. Uh, I love that. It was very entertaining to watch. It was so cool to see the fun and happiness from our ninjas like we normally do, what we would expect from you know these type of uh, competitions. But I kind of want to get away from the excitement uh, just for a quick second. But the actual double dipper, Jesse wasn't wearing any shoes. She was going down, and it looks like something they did at the last All-Star Special or All-Stars Challenge, where they had a few guys go in and do some, you know, a dive Olympics style type of thing. And I know Island Ninja, he went 
and it just belly flopped. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was awesome. So, some of my thoughts about that promo and how the season is going to take place. The two hour premiere special that we're supposed to have for NW12 on September 7th. I think that they're going to have the all star special kind of grouped in with the season premiere. Because from that promo, that's what it looks like. And kind of watching back to some of the clips, it shows Kevin Carbone going and doing the 360 on the warped wall. I know he did that last season, um, so I think that was one of the clips from last season, unless he's done it again. I can't really tell because everything's all dark in the background, but who knows where exactly these clips have come from. There's a clip in there that had John the Giant going up for the mega wall and I mean this dude is super tall. I met him in person and I'm but a fraction of his height. Uh, we were out doing uh, Sasuke Vietnam together and that's where I first met John the Giant. Uh, awesome guy, amazing, love his fro, it's so awesome. Personally as big and tall as he is and the athleticism that he has, I think he's going to get the warped wall on his first shot. You never know with Ninja Warrior. It looks like they brought back um, that bungee. Uh, I can't remember the name. Please drop a comment because it is frying my brain. What is the name of this obstacle? You know, you get the bungees and you go and you hop. Uh, I really want to try that. It looks fun. I don't know exactly how the format is going to be. However, I did do another video covering all the information that has been currently released up to date. And you can check that out here. Uh, one of the clips, it shows a female grabbing what looks like a, a ring with a little T at the bottom. I saw that same hold on the side where you're doing the monkey bars and the circular ring is falling down. Here, it looks like she's using that to kind of lache from hook to hook. This looks like the same area as well. so. I'm not sure exactly how that ring will come into place along with this new and improved T in a circle type ring. Uh, it, this draws a lot of question as to how the course actually is, what are the new obstacles, how are they used, and it definitely brings the hype bigger and stronger for the new season. I cannot express it enough how excited I am for this season. A lot of new fun aspects of this. Uh, which is really cool. The only thing I really hope is that it does not take away from the actual competition side of the house because I don't know about you guys, but I personally thrive on competition. You know, my inner competitiveness is just really hoping that this does not turn solely into an entertainment show, but rather to keep the competitive side of it as well. Ninja Talk. So the promo video was all but 20 plus seconds and in that 20 seconds there was so much going on and it just made me that much more excited for season 12. After seeing the promo video, I want to know what are your guys thoughts? Are you guys more hyped? Are you more excited? What do you think of some of the new obstacles? Do you think we're going to have a lot of fails on that balance obstacle we saw? How about that monkey bar race to catch the ring? How many people do you think aren't going to make it to the end of the monkey bars and the ring's going to just drop? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hey, and as always, keep training hard. I hope to see you on the course, and I'll catch you guys next time on The Ninja Life.